हेलो गाइस दिस इज संजय राठी वेलकम टू दी बाइजूज एग्जाम प्रेप द मोस्ट कॉम्प्रेंसिव एप फॉर ऑल कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स इन दिस सेशन दैट इज व्हाट कॉफी विद कॉन्सेप्ट्स यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ आर सी कपल एम्पलीफायर रिमेंबर दिस टॉपिक इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स it is important for electronics electrical and instrumentation branch and no need to mug up simply try to understand the concepts here you will get the idea about mid frequency analysis high frequency analysis low frequency analysis and you will also get the idea about high pass filter and low pass filter i think now you are ready guys chaliye let's start now This is a coffee with concept. First of all, my introduction. Myself, Sanjay Rathi. I am having around twenty-two years of teaching experience, and I have trained around one lakh students for these competitive exams. And I have qualified and selected for engineering services exam. These are my ranks: AIR sixteen in ESC two zero zero five and AIR twenty one in ESC two zero zero eight. And I worked as deputy director in Ministry of Power. Now. with the help of concept you can clear any competitive exam then guys what is the frequency response of rc coupled amplifier this is the topic first of all what is the rc coupled amplifier rc coupled means register capacitor coupling right we are connecting external capacitor as well as we are having the internal capacitance why we are having the internal capacitance remember once the junction is forward bias there will be diffusion capacitance once the junction is reverse bias there will be transition capacitance and there may be what wiring capacitance or other stray capacitance because the size of the component is very very less normally transistor is in active region yes we want to do amplification with the help of what transistor if you want to make what amplifier then transistor should be in what active region emitter junction forward bias collector junction reverse bias means diffusion capacitance as well as transition capacitance and these capacitance are called junction capacitance it they will affect what performance of the amplifier please watch this that is the rc coupled amplifier here we are connecting external capacitance cc1 cc2 and c cc1 and cc2 are coupling capacitor the right what are the function they will block the dc signal because for dc signal all the capacitor act as open circuit at the same time they will pass the ac signal to pass the ac signal the value of this capacitance is are very very high so that the impedance will be very low for ac signal but they will act as open circuit for what dc signal similarly here we have one capacitor that is called bypass capacitor it will bypass the ac signal but it will not bypass or it will not allow the dc signal to pass through the c dc signal will pass through the re only okay now this is called rc coupled amplifier at the same time between base and emitter we have diffusion capacitance between base and collector we have transition capacitance now what is the frequency response these all the capacitor will affect the frequency response curve means gain versus frequency of bjt so this is written c or cz bypass capacitor cc1 and cc2 coupling or dc blocking capacitor now that is the frequency response guys at this point the gain is constant the gain is constant means it is independent of the frequency on x axis we are having the frequency on y axis we are having the magnitude of the gain in mid frequency it is constant means independent of the frequency at a high frequency there is a fall in the gain at a low frequency again there is a fall in the gain in a mid frequency region all the coupling capacitor will act as short circuit remember all the coupling capacitor will act as short circuit because the values are very very high and all the internal capacitance diffusion transition wiring stray capacitance will act as open circuit right 
will act as open circuit means ideally all the coupling capacitor should act as short circuit and all the internal capacitor should act as open circuit in a mid frequency it is independent of frequency but when we are decreasing the frequency we are decreasing the frequency the gain will reduce when we are increasing the frequency again the gain will reduce at the lower side means we can say it is a lower frequency the gain reduces due to coupling capacitor that is cc1 cc2 and bypass capacitor that is what c why because ideally cc1 cc2 and cz should act as what short circuit but when we are decreasing the frequency impedance will increase when impedance will increase the all the capacitor will act as what open circuit and they will block the signal and that's why the gain will reduce at a high frequency side when we are increasing the frequency the impedance will decrease and the internal capacitor will try to act as short circuit and because of that gain will reduce right now ideally they should act as what open circuit but they will act as short circuit and that's why gain will reduce at high frequency now watch this diagram carefully in a half portion it looks like what high pass filter at high frequency side it looks like what low pass filter right so we can divide it into two parts lower frequency high pass filter higher frequency low pass filter and actually it is what band pass filter band pass filter now the low frequency response of the rc coupled amplifier it acts as what high pass filter here r and c this is the standard diagram for high pass filter you can find the gain also v0 upon vi then what is the v0 upon vi directly impedance division rule what is the impedance r2 and what is the impedance because of this this is the c actually this is the c capacitor value okay no problem that is you can correct it yes this is the c now r divided by r plus 1 by sc will give you the gain v0 upon vi that is called voltage division rule now you can find the gain here so rc coupled behaves at a low pass filter uh, high uh, at high pass filter at low frequency this is r upon r plus 1 by sc you will get the 1 upon 1 plus 1 by scr numerator and denominator divided by r now s is replaced by what j omega then 1 by rc is replaced by lower cut off frequency that is called omega l and finally omega l is equal to 2 pi fl omega is equal to 2 pi f 2 pi 2 pi cancel you will get the well known standard formula for this filter that is what high pass filter now this is the value and we can find the magnitude and then we can find the phase of this then at f is equal to 0 gain is 0 at f is equal to fl 1 by root 2 and f is equal to infinite the gain is 1 the maximum gain is what 1 means when we are increasing the frequency the gain will increase and fl is equal to that is fl is what cut off frequency at which gain will become 1 by root 2 of maximum gain and that is called cut off frequency this is the value okay then low frequency response of rc coupled amplifier this is the high pass filter this is the diagram for high pass filter and what is the fl fl as you know omega l by 2 pi that is 1 by 2 pi rc this is called low 3 db cut off frequency then high frequency at a high frequency bjt behaves like an low pass filter so what is the standard diagram for low pass filter rc now the z2 will become 1 by sc and r will remain r so what is the formula v0 by vi is equal to 1 by sc upon r plus 1 by sc that is z2 upon z1 plus z2 now s is replaced by j omega then you can write rc is equal to what 1 by omega h or omega h is equal to 1 by rc this is called higher 3 db cut off frequency 2 pi f 2 pi fh 2 pi 2 pi cancel and that is the formula this is the standard formula for low pass filter remember this when we are increasing the frequency the gain will reduce f is called instantaneous frequency fh is called 3 db cut off frequency now the curve for low pass filter this is frequency increases gain decreases 
एट कट ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी द गेन विल बिकम वन बाय रूट टू ऑफ मैक्सिमम गेन एफ एच वन बाय टू पाई आर सी तो दिस इज द लो पास फिल्टर एंड हाई पास फिल्टर नो वंस यू विल गेट द आइडिया वॉट इज द फेज एंड वॉट इज द गेन Now at f is equal to zero, the gain is one. At f is equal to f h one by root two, and f is equal to infinite zero. What is the phase minus ten inverse f by f h? If the phase, try to understand. If the phase is minus ten inverse, right? This is the formula. Means what? Negative. And that's why this circuit is called what? Lagging circuit. what is the low pass filter it is a lagging circuit and what is the high pass filter it is a leading circuit now what is the phase shift of rc coupled amplifier rc coupled amplifier is a common emitter configuration and in case of common emitter configuration the phase shift is 180 degree but it is 180 degree at mid frequency and it low frequency side it acts it acts as high pass filter then we have to add extra phase because it is a leading circuit at the high frequency side we have to subtract extra phase because it acts as what lagging circuit low pass filter and that's why 180 minus this one because it acts as low pass filter at high frequency side so we are subtracting this extra phase guys now watch this diagram change in the phase with frequency for rc coupled amplifier for example it is a high pass filter in high pass filter we have to add this extra phase or exactly at cut off frequency the change in the phase will become what 45 degree so for high pass filter it will become 180 plus 45 for low pass filter it will become 180 minus 45 degree at the cut off frequency so that is the change in the phase watch this diagram this is a very very important one this is the change in the phase already i have given this is the formula So exactly at cut off frequency it will become 135 and for this circuit it will become 225 at lower frequency side there is a change in the gain as well as change in the phase at higher frequency side there is a change in the gain there is a change in the phase and in a mid frequency gain is almost constant phase is almost constant and that's why normally we are doing the analysis at mid frequency remember that now these are the important points guys this is the filter this is the high pass filter this is the low pass filter at this point the cut off frequency is 135 at this point the at f h phase change is what 135 what is the phase here 225 high pass filter low pass filter gain at this side fall because of the internal capacitance diffusion transition wiring and strain gain at this side fall due to cc1 cc2 and what c that is called bypass capacitor rc coupled amplifier what is rc coupled amplifier you will ask what is this it is an audio frequency amplifier remember audio frequency means from 20 hertz to 20 kilo hertz this is the range of the frequency then single stage rc coupled if suppose you are having the single stage rc coupled amplifier then it will give 180 degree phase shift if suppose we are connecting in cascade we are having the we are having the two stages in cascade 180 plus 180 it will give the 360 degree phase shift or 0 degree phase shift this is the 0 degree phase shift guys now bypass capacitor why we are connecting the bypass capacitor in rc phase shift oscillator so normally when we are not connecting the bypass capacitor what will happen if this re we are not connecting any capacitor here then the dc plus ac both the signal will pass through the re and there will be negative feedback during dc analysis as well as during ac analysis and because of that gain will reduce during ac analysis but what is the benefit input resistance will increase because re will be an action and because of this re the input resistance will increase right but if you don't want negative feedback during ac analysis simply put the capacitor here when we are connecting the capacitor during ac analysis this capacitor will act as short circuit complete ac signal will pass through this but dc will pass through this during dc analysis there will be the negative feedback and it will provide you the self biasing right self bias circuit and it will stabilize the q point but during ac analysis there is no negative feedback that's why the gain will increase but input resistance will decrease because there is no re and that's why input resistance will decrease guys 
So this is the bypass capacitor. What will be the question? If suppose there is no capacitor, if we are connecting capacitor parallel to RE, what will happen? Negative feedback during AC analysis is removed. That's why voltage gain will increase, input resistance will decrease. This type of questions. Now, finally, that is the diagram, guys. This is the bypass capacitor we are connecting. RC coupled. By using RE without C, there is a reduction in voltage gain due to negative feedback across RE. Finally, by using this capacitor, negative feedback across RE is eliminated, therefore AV increases. This is the final frequency response curve of an amplifier. This is called lower cutoff frequency, FL, this is called higher cutoff frequency. Here, low pass filter sorry low frequency response high pass filter high frequency response low pass filter right now these are the important points fall of the gain in low frequency region is due to the effect of cc1 cc2 and ce in mid frequency region all the coupling capacitor and ce will be treated as ac short in the mid frequency region all the junction capacitors will be treated as ac open therefore in mid frequency region gain is almost independent of the frequency and is maximum there is no change in the gain these are the all the important points related to rc coupled amplifier normally we are doing analysis at a mid frequency that is the point guys amplifier analysis is generally done at mid frequency fall of the gain at high frequency is due to effect of junction capacitance and the bandwidth is given by FH minus FL. So, hope so. You enjoy the session. Final one question, guys. A transistor RC coupled amplifier is designed for AV is equal to 20. If we are designing the RC coupled amplifier for gain 20, remember, we are getting the maximum gain at mid frequency. So, actually, we are talking about the mid frequency. At mid frequency, gain is what? 20. But a measurement, but a measurement at a particular frequency shows a gain of 14, only 1, 4, 14. What is the likely phase shift at this frequency? Guys, in a mid frequency gain is 20. At a particular frequency, we are getting the gain 14. What is the 14? When we are calculating the percentage, 14, 1, 4 is the 70%, nearly 70% of what 20. Yes, you can calculate it. And what is 1 by root 2 guys? 1 by root 2 means what? 0 0.707. So, a frequency at which gain will become 70.7% of the mid-band gain that is called cutoff frequency. Means, here we are talking about the cutoff frequency. At cutoff frequency, what about the phase shift? At mid frequency, the phase shift is 180 and at the cutoff frequency, the phase shift is either 225 or what? 135. If it is higher cutoff frequency, answer will be 135. If it is a lower cutoff frequency, answer will be 225. If it is MSQ, then both the answers are correct. Okay, this type of question you may expect. So, guys, uh, don't try to mug up. Try to understand the concepts. In a gate exam, the question will be based on what concept? In every competitive exams, the questions will be based on what concepts? Right? So, please don't mug up. Try to understand the concept and works on your fundamentals and basics. Okay then, thank you for attending the session. You are on Baiju's exam prep. Like the session, share the link of this session and subscribe our channel. Thank you.